the only comments coming in are people that are talking about how Black Lives Matter is racist group. Uh, it says, well, here's Sway Ocean. All those groups are racist as fuck. They want equal policing where they can't arrest blacks for more crimes than whites. So your rights and justice don't matter. Okay. There's a little bit of that sentiment. So, no, I, yeah, I, don't know, I, I can address this from personal experience, too, because I was in Seattle, Washington, when a lot of the, the first of the Black Lives Matter movement was kicking off. Kicking off. And I think it was, I was there for Thanksgiving. I, I, I usually go, I uh, spend Thanksgivings with my mom and her side of the family. And there was a protest. I was there with my girlfriend and my mom at the movie theater. And there was a Black Lives Matter pro Matters protest in the lobby. And I started filming because the police were sort of uh, corralling the protesters out of the mall, you know? Mm -hmm. And I started, so I, I'm, I'm recording my cell phone going like, time to hold some cops accountable. You know, like, let's make sure they don't beat anybody up now. And uh, as the, this is, and, and, and for, if, if people want to go back to this, like I, I have, um, I have this video somewhere back on my, I think if you search my YouTube channel for Black Lives Matter, there, there are probably only, you know, a handful of videos I've done with that in the title. And it's, yeah, it's at least two years old now. And I, I don't want to, I say that to say, just to point out, like my exact memory of the incident might not be perfect. If you want to go back and check the tape, check the tape. But uh, when I started, I started asking them questions, I think of, of the protesters, like I'm filming this confrontation as they're, you know, coming out of the mall. Uh, and and I, I can't even remember. I was like, I said, what are you guys doing here? You know, was, I, I, I don't remember what the question was. I haven't even watched the video since I posted it. And I could have. Uh, you know, just. Recorded the scene and, and be like, oh, nobody's getting beat up here. Walk away. But I wanted to give them a platform. Like I wanted the protesters to be able to tell people the backstory and why they were there and get their message out. If I'm going to portray you as an activist, as a protester on my platform, I'm not just going to, I'm not going to shortchange you and, and, you know, yeah. Film it without context. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. Well, what's the point? Right. My audience doesn't want that. And they, they started yelling at me. And the one, the one insult that I, I mean, they call me cracker and, and stuff and they started making fun of my mom. And it was like, like meek old Jewish woman, like, re like really, like you're going to, and, and, and I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my freedom baseball cap. You know, it's got the freedom logo like this, but you know, like big across. Mm. Mm. And they go, you're a white dude with freedom on your hat. I'm like, yeah, I, I, well, I, I'm, yeah, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm part Jewish. Does, does that count? Like, like, if, I'm not, I'm not pure, purebred white. If that, if that makes it feel better, I'm not guilty for all, you know, all the crimes of, of that race. Uh, and, and I was, I was really, you know, personally offended. And I say that knowing that being offended is fucking bullshit, right? But no, I was, I was, I was really offended. Like, God damn it, there, this is a racist movement. And I had to step back and go, wait a second. This is a, this is a, few, a few people in this movement. This isn't everybody, first of all. Now, when you want to ask the question, is it racist? Racism has a pretty specific definition of believing in the superiority of, of one race over another or the inferiority of, of another race, really, right? And there's so many things that we use this term, like we throw it around, you know, like in in really dumb ways. Like, because there's, there's a more broad uh, definition of racism that is sometimes, 
does it deal with race in a way that differentiates people by race? Like if I'm giving out sunscreen at a party at the beach and I give it to my white friends and not my black friends, am I being racist or am I being racially sensitive that white people burn in the sun more than black people? Right? Like, hello, like they're just basic shit. Like, like, is that racist? You want to call me racist? Cause I, and, and to be fair, like uh, in that situation, I would still offer <laughs> any, any black people there. Like, yes, I understand black people can burn. I'm not going to just assume, Hey, you don't want sun or whatever. I, but you see the difference, right? Like there are certain things where it's just like, I'm acknowledging race. I'm not, I'm not imposing any judgment at all. And even in that video that I did, I did a commentary like afterwards before I, like, so I, I showed the video of me at the mall and getting, you know, the confrontation with these protesters and them yelling at my mom. It's just, it was just silly. And, uh, I did a commentary. This is like, I support the main call. And there, there are two things that I want to point out in, 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 and CJ, if you could get that comment back up on the screen, please. I want to make sure I address every element of it directly here. Um, two things really important. Uh, let's see, isn't the race card a straw man argument most of the time? Yes, not that one. Thank you, Cracked Eggs. But the, the prior comment that I'm still responding to about, you know, is, is the movement itself racist? Yeah, it was Sway Ocean. Thank you. Okay, so there's one, you can't generalize. That's collectivization. You're, you're involuntary collectivizing people in your judgment in an intellectually inferior way. So to call a movement something because of a few individuals is just dumb. Just, just dumb. Just, it's not correct intellectually. It's, just, it's wrong. Um, so for one, there's that. I guess I have a few other points here. Two, there are going to be infiltrators in any kind of group that challenges anybody politically. Republicans infiltrate Democrats. Democrats infiltrate Republicans in order to try to make them look bad. You think there's no infiltration in the Black Lives Matter movement? Get a fucking clue. Look up COINTELPRO. That's the portmanteau of counterintelligence program. And if you haven't at least read the Wikipedia page for COINTELPRO, go read it. Go look at that. Like now. Like stop this show. You've heard enough here. If you want to do something for Black Lives? Go, I know what COINTELPRO is. I'm, 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 I'm not joking. I read it, it, The counterintelligence program is the one that was uh, responsible for the assassination by cop of so many black activists in the Black Panther movement in the 60s and 70s. Their explicit uh, objective was to render ineffective the Black Panther and anti-war movements through infiltration and discrediting of leaders. So, of course, that's going to happen. And, and, and then finally... Do people get killed because of the color of their skin in the United States today? When you put it like that, and, and allow me to explain the difference I'm trying to get to here. No, it's, it's, it's pretty rare. No, even, even racist cops that kill black people don't see someone on the street and go, oh, you're black, I'm going to kill you because you're black. That's not how it happens, right? It's, I'm a cop, I'm interacting with people on the street. When I interact with white people, I'm respectful, and I know that I can be held accountable if I fuck with them. If I go and I'm interacting with black people, I can fuck with them and be angry and not just, even, even if I'm not racist. And I made this point on the show the other day, right? Think about it like this. The, the, the systematic racism doesn't really require active racism on anybody's part to lead to more black people than white people dying innocently on the street. And here's why. For a cop on the street, let's say it's me. And I'm not, and I, by the way, I almost became a cop when I got out of the Marines. I was like, you know, I was, I'm sorry, not when I got, before I joined the Marines. It was, it was like police or, uh, or military. You know, those, those were two, two of my big choices at that point. And I know I'm not racist. I don't, I don't hold any judgment against people by race or individuals. And I know that as a cop, I'm going out with a gun and a badge. 
as the biggest street gang in the world. And just because I know in the back of my head that if I get in trouble for fucking with a white dude, it's going to be a lot worse than if I get in trouble fucking with a black dude. Even if I have no racism in my head whatsoever, just because the system has that bias. When I go and interact with civilians, if I interact with a white dude, I've got this check on my anger going, you know what? Hey, don't fuck with this guy. So you're going to pay for it. I'm going with a black dude. That check on my anger is not there anymore. So what does that do? What does that do to you as a black man or a black woman, but a black man, especially in America today? And by the way, it was women, young women who, uh, who were yelling at us in Seattle, making fun of my mom and my girlfriend. But it's, by the way, I, and I, I remember this from, studying uh, the psychology of racism in, in undergrad. You think, Jim, right, that black women are going to be greater targets of discrimination because they are, one, black, and two, mm -hmm. women, right? Both groups subject to negative treatment by the rest of society, right? Wrong. Black men have it worse. Can you guess why? No. Women are more assertive. Nope. Who are the actors in most acts of racism that we think of that we see? It's men, right? Police officers. And this is just another layer of the psychology behind racism that's worth knowing. White men in the, in the psychology of defending white society or their white communities don't see women as a threat the same way. Black women can be impregnated by white men. Black men cannot. Evolutionarily, biologically, sexually, for all of those... Are you, is that pulling back the curtain? You go, oh, shit, that makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I say black men sometimes, knowing deliberately knowing that black men, more so than women, are subject to uh, a, a heightened form and a very specific kind of discrimination in, in, in all countries where, where they have, you know, an experience with, with the similar basic dynamics as the United States. So... There's going to be some anger. You know, the stereotype, the angry black man. You put any, any, any self-respecting white man in that situation, you're going to find an angry white man. Or a pussy, one or the other. So... I am more than willing to look the other way at inappropriate expressions of black anger. And to hear, to hear the pundits now, it, it, it is such a, a revelation of, of this other subtle racism. Oh, well, destroying property is not an appropriate form of protest. And these are so-called Christians who praise the man who turned over the tables of the money lenders. Really. The other thing about the destruction of property that I've heard with all of this is that a lot of the businesses that are being targeted by looters are ones that have donated to the police. And, and donated, it would be, it really would be better described as sponsoring, buying extra protection services. They're paying for your terrorism. In, in the scale, like there's there's a kind of scale of like ways that you can violate another human being, right? In terms of violation, like of the non-aggression principle. And they are different categories of violation, right? You said something aggressive, violent, harsh, threatening. Okay, fine. Nowhere near you physically violated someone's property. 
Nowhere near you physically violated someone's body. Nowhere near you took somebody's life. And when we're talking about lives being taken, if you're complaining about property destruction and bad words, go fuck yourself.